Hey, Fellowship family. This morning we are going to be praying for the unreached of Asia. Um, just praying for these countries and these people that have never heard the gospel. I know being from the South, that's really hard to fathom. Um, it's just something that is built into our everyday. But there are people in this world, uh, especially in these countries, that have never heard the name of Jesus. Um, and we are just praying today that they would. Um, that the gospel would break through in their countries um, and just meet them where they are. When I was preparing for this, I, a couple of verses stood out to me specifically. Um, Romans 1.16 says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God for salvation for to everyone who believes. And I'm just praying that over them, that when they do meet the gospel, that they would not be ashamed or afraid, um, but they would just boldly accept it and walk into the arms of Jesus um, secondly, 1 Corinthians 9.22, Jesus says, To the weak I became weak, that I might win the weak. I have become all things to all people, that by all means I might save one. Uh, I think that's just such a beautiful picture of his gospel. He comes to the trenches. He meets us where we are. He crawls through the darkness with us, um, all so that he can save one person. And I just am praying that, Every person in that country um, would just feel that desperation from God and that nearness from God. Um, in Matthew 9, God tells his disciples that the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. So I'm also just praying that um, people from our church and our community would just feel called to go. But Heavenly Father, God, we just thank you for your sovereign love. We thank you that you have a heart for the nations when we turn a blind eye. God, I pray that you would put this on our hearts this morning and draw us near to your people. We thank you, God, for the revival that is happening in Iran. You have brought over 2 million new believers into our family and many church plants. And God, that couldn't have happened without you. We pray that you would just keep fueling that fire, God, and igniting hearts in that country. We pray for our sister church in Nepal, um, God, that you would come alongside Martin and those leaders and just um, reinvigorate them for your good works, um, God, and that people would continue to see what they are doing and just flock to them. We lift up North Korea today, God. Those citizens are just desperate for love and light um, and ultimately just you. We pray that um, your gospel would find a way into their homes, that they would um, read and come to know the good news of Jesus as we have known it, God, and that souls would be saved. God, we just pray for our world as a whole for the, the economic and health impacts that this pandemic has brought upon us. Um, God, we are facing just genocide and ethnic violence daily. Um, God, I pray for the people that suffer from this. God, I pray that you would bring it to an end. God, I pray that you would just um, anoint the hearts of even those that are committing these crimes. Um, and just soften their hearts to the people that they are hurting and that ultimately they would all be brought into your family. God, we pray for this country and this world, every country that you created. God, we pray that those people would come to know you in the way that we do. God, I pray for laborers that you would um, send us out to bring more people into your flock. We love you and we thank you and it's your son's name we pray. Amen.